Hi guys, welcome to my channel, I'm on Shocker Vlogs. So it's been a while since I've uploaded anything and that's because I've mainly been busy with other stuff. I'm quite sure everyone could understand having a young family and uh, going to work and just taking care of everything else in the house. As well as that, I guess I'm lacking a little bit, uh, a bit of motivation to make videos as much as I used to. But um, I am continuing with the channel. I will be uploading, maybe not as often as I uh, as I was before, but um, I am going to be uploading. So make sure you guys uh, stay subscribed and uh, just watch out for future videos. I do have a lot of videos on my phone that I will be uploading, inshallah, soon. So today I'm actually going into town. I'm going to go into Salfridges. And here I am actually, I'm just about to catch the bus. Um, bought myself a day saver, I think like four pounds I side from. Uh, so it's not much and you can just travel the whole day. But I'm just gonna go into town. And yeah, town's, uh, a lot has changed. A lot of uh, harm or a lot of works going on the roads and Thank stuff. You. But the, it looks like it's coming to uh, an end. So hopefully it'll end soon. But yeah, here I am uh, at the, the Saturday market or Sunday market that they have over here. And um, yeah, I'm just going to Bullring now. So here we are inside uh, Salfridges and they have the Christmas decoration all ready for Christmas and yeah I love coming in here and just walking around checking things out and yeah it's a nice place to be just wander around just check things out. Here we are on the second floor so this floor actually has a small perfume area um, it has Creed Aventus which is uh, quite a niche fragrance so it's one of the high class ones uh, up there with you know other high class fragrances the one I'm actually going to buy Mancera is um, a good starting point if you're uh, going into niche fragrances if you're going into the you know more higher up brands so compared to like let's say Hugo Boss or um, some Adidas or something like that these are a bit more higher than that those so here we are on the third floor and this is where you would get all of your fragrances perfumes pretty much there are like I said on the second floor there's Creed Aventus um, but this is this main area here is where you pretty much get all of your perfumes and stuff. And uh, this is one of the ones I'm thinking of getting, uh, so I might get it in the future. Um, it's called Spice Bomb, uh, and it's shaped like a grenade. <laughs> so um, hence the name Spice Bomb, I guess. Um, so infrared uh, Spice Bomb infrared is the one I really like. The Spice Bomb Extreme is the more popular one, I think, because it's a lot more stronger. Uh, version of it basically it's, it's saying it smells kind of same but it's a little different to the infrared and it's just a lot more stronger
we have the Mancera um, brand and I'm actually here to buy red tobacco but I was thinking intense Sintra Boise I'm not sure how you pronounce that um, and these are some other brands here that are really nice as well I love the lids that they have they have some more niche uh, fragrances so they all look so nice I just I don't know <laughs> when you see them all glossy and stuff like that you just want to buy all of them um, but yeah, I ended up getting red tobacco. There was this other one called Oud for Greatness, which is something I want to buy as well. So um, I might be buying that next week. So we'll see uh, if I do. And if I do, obviously, I'll make a video on that. Yeah, so I ended up getting the red tobacco one. And uh, yeah, it's really nice. I tried it in the shop. And out of the two that I was thinking of getting, I'm not going to try it and uh, name the other one again because I'm probably going to remember the name. Uh, I ended up, uh, I ended up choosing red tobacco. And now I'm at the JD store. Um, I thought I'd look at some of the hoodies they have. So at first I thought um, this one was quite nice, but I was thinking um, I'll get that some other time. And I decided on getting this Adidas top, which was all white. This was pretty nice. So I grabbed uh, myself one of these and headed out. I thought I'd make my way home now. Um, but before I do, I'll get myself a uh, bubble tea. So the thing about me is every time I'm in town, I will just end up, uh, I will just end up getting a bubble tea. Uh, mostly at the start of the whole uh, shopping journey, I would, or whatever reason I'm in town for, um, I'll get myself a bubble tea. Um, but this time I thought I'll get it on the way out. And um, yeah, so this meat chow place, uh, they do really nice bubble tea and I'm always here. So yeah, today was uh, a bit of a queue, but which was fine. And I like trying all these different flavors, so I, I've tried uh, quite a few flavors. Um, I like, I think, which one is it? Honeydew, I think it's called. Um, that, that has to be one of the uh, one of my favorite ones. I also like anything coconut. But yeah, here I am, I'm getting myself a bubble tea. Here I am, uh, home, finally, and this is my uh, fragrance collection so far. I've obviously just recently started, I've recently just got into it, um, but this is the red tobacco that I got, and um, yeah, so here it is, and I'm actually trying to open it, it's quite hard opening it, because um, the glue was stuck on quite tight, so, but anyway, um, so with this uh, fragrance, um, you want to be wearing this around winter time you want to wear it at winter you want to wear it when uh you want to wear it at autumn so in the more colder um seasons you want to wear it this is um more of a cold season uh fragrance it's good also to wear it at night time obviously it's up to you you can choose it to wear it in the summer if you like but what i would say is not to spray it on too much in the summer because it's quite a strong um fragrance so the main um, the main accords are warm, spicy, tobacco, woody, sweet, amber, vanilla, cinnamon, wood, powdery, and fresh uh, spice with this perfume. That's the main accords that you get with this. And I um, have worn it now a few times, or quite a lot of times. This is a bit more into the future that I'm doing a voice over this. Um, and I just can't get enough of it. And it comes in this really nice little bag, um, patch thing. So I can't get enough of it. I'm addicted to this, you know, smell. I would actually, I get the actual um, uh, atomizer area where you, basically where you press it and the spray comes out. And I just, 
it's like it's like a drug to me <laughs> you know so i love this uh, fragrance it's, it's amazing fragrance it's strong you spray it on uh, it's worth the price you last you you could basically smell it the next day and the day after that so but yeah it's more of a winter um autumn like when the leaves are falling and all that uh, nighttime fragrance but you could wear it whenever you want um i'll have to see how this does in the summer um so the top notes the things uh, the sm the stuff they put in it to make it smell as it does it's a smoky kind of fragrance as well so um the top notes has to be cinnamon uh argwood saffron uh incense nutmeg green apple and white pear middle notes are patchouli and jasmine and base notes are tobacco Madagas uh, madagascar vanilla amber uh I'm not sure how you pronounce this one. It's called guayac wood. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce uh, it. Sandal uh, wood, white moss, and this other one is called hint hintanli vitae or something. Um, I'm gonna try and actually uh, put the words down over there so you guys could um see which, what I'm talking about because I can't pronounce some of the stuff. But yeah, um, it's amaz it's amazing, amazing fragrance. So if you want to start collecting niche fragrances you should really get yourself um red tobacco so yeah um so that's all i have for you guys today um hopefully i'll make another video soon but thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed the journey and if you have then please subscribe give this video a like and i'll see you guys soon see ya